I would say every day is the best day on the job. There, there is not one day in her 31-year career Jane Castor has not wanted to come to work. From her proudest moments, stemming from a plan she put in place on her first day as chief in 2009. And we want to get everybody involved. Jane Castor is a Tampa native and graduate of Chamberlain Senior High School. She received her Bachelor's of Science in Criminology from the University of Tampa and Master's Degree in Public Administration from Troy University. Following that, she graduated from the prestigious FBI National Academy. In 1983, she joined the Tampa Police Department and became the first female president of her police academy class. 25 years later, she became the first female police chief of the Tampa Police Department. She recently opened the doors to a multi-million dollar gymnasium for the Police Athletic League, which serves more than 300 at-risk children. The tactical strategies implemented by Chief Castor during her tenure are often duplicated by other counties and states. The way she trained her department to prepare for tens and thousands of people arriving into the city when Tampa hosted the 2012 Republican National Convention was received with high praise. Her focus leading to her legacy, a safer Tampa. A police force that understands the community that they serve and has a partnership with the citizens of Tampa in keeping this city as safe as it is. Jane Castor is also a devoted mother of two teenage sons. Jane Castor, we are grateful for the years you invested in keeping our community safe. Tonight, we applaud you with honor. I first want to begin by thanking Pamela and Donald Robinson for uh, starting the Aaron's House. You know, as a mother, I can't imagine the grief of losing a child and being able to turn that grief into mm -hmm. something so positive that will help others to avoid the pain that they went, the pain and suffering that they went through is really remarkable. So you are definitely the true legends here. And I just want to say as well is that on the topic of mental health, we are the state of Florida 51st in spending and dealing with mental health. We are behind Puerto Rico in spending for mental health. And it's something that affects all of us. So my hat is off to the Robinsons for what you have done to bring a focus into this and to help others. And as far as the recognition as a legend, I was uh, honored enough to be the first female chief of police, but I have never done anything that wasn't a team effort or helped out by others. And the true legend here is someone you're gonna honor in a few minutes, and that is Rufus Lewis, who was one of the first African-American police officers that truly blazed the trail that allowed me to rise to the level that I did. So, thank you. All right, all right. Thank you.